All righty. So here we are out here with the Savage Creedmoor 6.5 crossbow. I made some changes. So stand by, I'll tell you what they are. Okay, so I wasn't happy with the performance I was getting last time. And that performance was right here. It was on me. Okay, totally 100%. So I revamped. Okay, so here was the issue the ATN scope wasn't the problem. Again, it wasn't the problem. It was me. The ATN scope was a little bit higher. So, when I went back and looked at my video, I was way up here. I had, I was, my cheek was way, way too high. Okay? So, that wasn't going to work. I tried putting a, a cheek pad on here. Uh, I wasn't comfortable with that cheek pad bringing me away about two more inches up because my scope I thought was at 2.5 inches was actually 2.75 inches. So that's why I believe I was shooting all over the place. I wasn't getting a good line on my scope. I was set up, was, my scope had the wrong settings in it, so I was way off way off so my bad my my issue my problem but to bring my scope down lower and bring me put a small cheek pad on here we went to the cv life six by 24 by 50. it's got this real nice ring up here to uh adjust yardage um nice stiff good turrets i like them I like this uh, CV Life scope. I really do. Um, so we are here at so I think it's 54 yards, 53 yards to do a side in. That's it. That's it. This. I'll very side. I already took it down. And made sure we're good at 20 yards. We were pretty good. I took a picture snapshot of it. I didn't film it. I took a quick snapshot. And hopefully, I can get it loaded in. I really do. So you'll also you have a picture of that. It only took me one, two, three, four, five, six rounds uh, to get it within reason. I wasn't trying to be an exact bullseye but i did hit an exact bullseye at 20 yards so just to brag oh yeah i forgot something didn't i hi and welcome to utah crossbow hunter howdy ma'am howdy partner all right now that we get that out of the way so yeah all my fault again you know, like i told you guys i don't hide anything I tried, it was my fault, I'd take the blame. Okay, so we're gonna see where we're at at 50 yards, or 54 yards. Let's take our first shot. Then uh, I don't have a camera set up down there because like I said, my tanky cams only go out to 60 yards. So about every fourth shot, we'll take a walk, take a look. First shot. So what I'm gonna do, because I know it's gonna drop a little bit, I'm gonna shoot just a little bit high. Okay, so let's see where we're at.
Just like I predicted. A little bit high. Okay. So let's... I'm not going to make any adjustments, so I'm just going to bring my sight down. This time I'm going to go for the bullseye and see where we're at. All right. All right. A little bit low. So let's uh, bring her up. again. and you bring it down, went too much. Bring it Make a quick adjustment here. I was kind of floating over that time. Okay, shot number four. After this, we'll go down and take a look at it. Another thing is, these rings I got on here are pretty cheap. Um, the reason for that is, I couldn't find my other rings. But I found my other rings, so I do gotta change these rings out uh, on that are on here. So that's gonna be in the near future. I okay, so here we go. I'm on my GoPro here, walking out. It took me a second to get it figure it out here. You can see, as you look at my going to the target, I hate it. I really do. People leave the trash out here. Boxes. But when you get done, pick up your stuff before you leave. And, I mean, it's not that hard to do. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are. Hopefully, this was shot number one. Shot number two, three, and four, right there. So I'm going to cover those up and we'll go do it again. All righty. So at some point, my battery died and I don't know where. So. It is what it is, some batteries. All right. Let's take another shot. Oh. 
All righty. I covered up my holes down there. All right. Where are we at? Oh, I had my glasses on. All righty. Impossible. Huh. Impossible. It says I missed the target. That's not good. Where? There it is. All right. I need a... Okay. Really? That is just so weird. I didn't do anything. to my target. All right, so shoot high, see what happens. Okay. The echo going through the mountains, awesome. What the? This is not making any sense whatsoever. Well, let me shoot low, low this time. It's not making any sense. Especially since I didn't make any adjustments. Okay. There we go. So I was shooting, let's see. Low, so I need to bring it up. Right? That's at the bottom. Okay. That didn't make, That didn't make any sense. Uh, 
Okay. I bring it up a little bit. Let's see where that one went. Okay, so that one was way high. So let's bring it down. Okay, so I bring it down. Echo. I think I hit the same hole again. So, only one way to find out is to take a walk. So, let's take a walk and find out. Here we go. <coughs> a 50 yard walk. I really like this uh, Savage Creedmoor 6.5 crossbow. I really like it. All right. Nope. I didn't. Or did I? I don't think so, but there's my shots. Huh. I'm not going to cover those up right now. We'll do that later. All right, let's take a walk on back. All righty. Make sure we're on. Yep, we're on. That is awfully strange. It really is. Okay. Let's take another shot. Here, ricochet off a rock. Okay, there we are. We're high. Okay. So. We'll bring it down. Let's see. There we go. See how that does. I'm only doing the elevation right now. Um, we'll worry about the windage later. Uh, when we get to the, the point where we can do it. And even the windage ain't that bad. I 
Are you kidding me? We bring it down and missed. Oh my goodness. That's that's a little ridiculous. Let me try that again. That doesn't make any sense. You still need to come. Down a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down six clicks. All right. Okay, here we go. To the way over there on the left. All right, let's take a walk, cover up some holes. And have some more fun. Here we go. I'm using the microphone on the my mod here my on my GoPro well, it's another beautiful day when I first got out here it was probably low 40s but it's definitely warming up okay so going here here here, here, and here. This was the last one after that one. So I went from, this was, I had this one, this one, then this one. Alrighty, let's cover them up and uh, do it again. Okay, we on, we are on. All righty. Let's take another shot. See what happens this time. I got a lot of orange dots all over my target. All righty. I did it again. Holy smokes. Just a little bit low. All right. So we're going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up four clicks. 
That should give me a something decent to work with. Way high. Uh, I'm going to take two clicks out of it. And I think I may have pulled it too just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Still just a little bit high. Moving it down two more. There you go. I'm almost getting good at catching those. Okay. Off to the left a little bit. Okay, I think that might have been me. So we'll take, we'll take one more shot, make five. All right. Uh. All right. Still a little high, so we'll take a walk out there and check them out. I got about halfway out here and realized I'm carrying my camera up so you guys can see me walking and it wasn't even on. All right, so here we are. Okay, where are we at? Where's my target? There it is. So we got one close to the bullseye. And then we got four over here. So I'll bring it down a couple more clicks. And go from there. Alrighty, here we go. Okay. So I take a few shots off camera and try and speed things up. And while trying to speed things up, got it, the fly. Um, I noticed something. This 
rifle. That's a rifle? Crossbow. Does not like this bog death grip. And I'll show you. Let me get this round out of here. Get it picked up. And then I'll take you down there. It just doesn't like this particular rifle, crossbow. As you can see, hopefully, the way this goes, it goes up in a slight angle here. Okay? So, you can kind of see where it's rubbing up in here. And at one point, I noticed that I went from here to here even though the death grip was tight, okay? Um, so it's bouncing around in there a little bit. Um, that concerns me. So I think this particular rifle, I'm going to have to bring the lead sled out. No big deal. I mean, we're close. I mean, for horseshoes, hand grenades, and skunks, we're close. So I'll take you out there and show you what we're talking about. So let's take a walk. Okay. So I didn't notice that uh, my uh, GoPro froze. So I don't know how that last one came out. But we'll take this walk anyways. I got it going now, I think. It says it's recording. It's getting warm out here now. Okay, so we're not doing too bad. We got a couple over here, over here, one way low, which I got up. So we're kind of, oh, the target's warm for some reason, maybe from the, the sun. Alrighty, so we're not doing bad. These are my last three shots right here. So we're doing better. I'm just thinking I'm going to have to get that lead sled out here and and do it. So we'll take the walk back and finish this up. All righty. We on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, so <laughs> overall, I'm happy with the scope. I'm just going to change the rings on it and then... Uh, that should make it more solid. And then uh, bring the lead sled out and use the lead sled. Because like I said, I'm thinking it's, it just doesn't like this bog death grip. I like the bog death grip, don't get me wrong. It's just not getting a good grip on the rifle. So we're just kind of moving around and we'll just make that adjustment. No big deal. I love coming out here. I wish I could come out here every day, but it gets a little expensive. You know, the price of bullets and arrows and all that kind of stuff. Alrighty, so we're going to finish this up, get out of here, get this uh, uploaded for you guys. Um, so, I mean, I really like this, 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 this crossbow. It's a nice crossbow smooth, no jumpy, jumpy. Alrighty, so remember, you want to hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, like I said, it's not for me. It's for my son.
It really breaks my heart sometimes that Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go down that road right now. I love him to death. He's a good kid. Help him out. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that all notification bell. Hit uh, uh, the share button. Family, friends, worst enemies, I don't care. Leave me a comment. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I uh, love you guys. You guys are great people. And remember, these, sons, these are dedicated to my son. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter.